Oh man. Whew. Oh god. Oh man, that's uh anybody's eating oh uh, uh, oh uh. Hey everyone, Joel Anson here, and today we're going to be in Kingston, Ontario for today's video, taking on the spiciest, spiciest, Canada's spiciest chicken sandwich. So this is like, not like a fried chicken sandwich, this is a kind of like panini style chicken sandwich, actually like a chicken, spicy chicken ranch kind of sandwich kind of thing, which is pretty cool. We're actually at a place called Fresh Healthy Cafe, located right downtown, right by the waterfront, apparently a very, very beautiful area. So for this challenge, we have only 10 minutes to eat a large chicken panini. So if you're not familiar with the panini, it's like a grilled kind of sandwich, um, which is has like Carolina Reaper sauce all over the chicken, all over it. There's additional like spices, like spicy powder sauces. There is something insane, like four or five multiple, multiple, multiple whole habaneros on here. Like I'm talking whole peppers chopped up, served the pepper on top. Anyway, so this thing is with the uh, Carolina Reaper sauce and everything reaching over 2 million Scoville units, um, not to mention all the other habaneros, the sauces. And if you guys know, nothing really burns like a fresh pot or a fresh pepper. So this is pretty scary, um, but 10 minutes or you get the meal for free, 15 bucks if failed. Um, I think that's pretty much the majority of the info. Place is known for like having a whole bunch of like really fresh made to order, like smoothies, burritos, paninis. Um, again, really kind of giving that like healthy option. Again, like they very much are transparent with calories, etc. And so I'm totally gonna try a couple items before I dive into the spicy thing because you can't eat spicy food on an empty stomach. So with that, so that's fun to eat food. Good to be back in Kingston. Good to be back in Ontario. It's been a little bit, I've done some challenges here. And uh, at that, let's go have fun. We'll squeeze food and hopefully not burn to a living crisp as we try Canada's spiciest chicken sandwich challenge. Let's go eat. Everybody's here with all the items. Looks absolutely amazing. Um, I'm actually pumped because this is the crazy thing. Like it's so fresh. It is so healthy. Like legit. Like these are items that I can eat day by day, day after day, and they will fit into my diet. Believe it or not, I do watch my weight. I do watch what I eat, and this is just. I love it. it is, I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. So to start. We have the ginger shot. This is literally ginger, lemon, and cayenne. Like literally, great for the gut. Great for digestion. Here I have their TBA turkey bacon avocado panini, which looks amazing. Basically, turkey bacon, turkey, avocado, uh, tomatoes, onions. They have a light ranch. Again, light, healthy. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I love places where I can actually eat salad dressings and stuff because I don't eat full fat salad dressings. I'm just, it's not in my diet. But this, whoa, this all is. I have their breakfast sandwich, which looks awesome. Egg, tomato, avocado. And they recommend a uh, Thai sauce here, which I have with it. I also got myself some hot sauce. You know I'm about that action. Although, not too hot. That's gonna be coming here in a moment. I have their Mediterranean bowl, which looks freaking awesome. I mean, bed of greens. We got all my favorites, like the feta. It's kind of like a Greek salad in a way. Cucumbers, onions, tomatoes. Their house-made citrus dressing. Some chicken as well. Got that protein. That you just came from the gym, did some cardio. Hallelujah. Then we have their Mission Burrito. Now this is actually massive. I didn't realize how big this was or I would have skipped it. This I got with their chicken. Alternatively, I could have got it with a kind of like Beyond Meat and other options. Um, but yeah, this is like uh, lettuce, meat, corn, beans, jalapenos. What's really unique on here as well, in addition to like the salsa, is they actually put a Greek yogurt on here. 
kind of to satisfy the same purposes like a sour cream does. So you kind of have that like tartness, that dairy aspect, but it gives you extra protein and it's less calories. And like, again, I love this place. Literally, I honestly truly wish I lived right next door. They'd be seeing me way too often. Um, so yeah, let's dive into this, try everything out, get a little food in our stomach because I am going to get my absolute butt, butt kicked with that Carolina freaking sandwich um, afterwards. But that being said, let's try this out. All right, everyone, so where am I gonna start? Well, I always say kids eat your vegetables. Luckily, we have vegetables on everything, but I will grab me this lovely Mediterranean salad here. So I got the dressing. I chose to get it on the side just so I can add it on in, but there's citrus, ooh, vinegar, there's some olive oil in it. Mm. Oh, mm. my mouth is watering. That tartness, it just sets it off right. But anyway, we got all kinds of lovely luscious greens in there. And I, I gotta give a shout out to how great all the produce looks are using. Mm. Crunchy, and it's awesome. You can't beat it. I love to eat animals. Joy's stuff But, Vegetables and fruits are like equally up there. Mm. Just so fresh and delicious. Mm. I love a salad. And salad dressing, it's delicious. It's a little bit of city. Almost like a bit of a mm, tart vinegar. Almost like a balsamic or something. Would recommend. Listen, I'm a big olive person. Olive and salads is great. Let me know. What do you think of olives down below? Next? No, let's do the panini. The TBA, the to be announced. This looks so awesome, man. Look at the freaking turkey on there. The turkey bacon. Let's just, I'm just gonna give it a bite. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mm. The crisp bread. Mmm. The smokiness of that turkey bacon. Oh, the richness of avocado, amazing. That combo is straight fire. It's so like lean and like with using the turkey bacon, the actual turkey breast. Mm. I got nothing else to say. Mm. Amazing. But that is the best panini I've had in a very, very long time. Just, it's so fresh. Um, let's try this breakfast sandwich out. So this, Love, the, that's some voluminous egg. Egg, tomato, avocado. I don't think I've actually had avocado on English muffin before. So I'm excited to try that out. See what it's all about. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So that avocado adds such a creamy, rich mouthfeel in addition to that egg. As per the recommendation, I will try it in this. Thai sauce, look at that dip. Nice and, looks like a sweet chili-ish. Mmm, little sweetness. With the rest of that, of that avocado, makes it really like savory. Also got some hot sauce, some traditional hot sauce to try in that. Woo, mm -mm. oh man, I am fan. Kind of the last thing we got here, well, two things, the ginger shot and this mission burrito which is huge, absolutely huge. But I'm totally okay with that. Smells great, the corn, beans, give it a shot. Wow, okay. So you have the, the that sourness or bitterness of that Greek yogurt on there, it's so dynamic. The, just what that adds to it, it's crazy impressive. So again, the beans, kind of the corn, the, the red, the kind of the red salsa. It just adds like that really traditional bit. So I've never, I don't eat sour cream normally on burritos and tacos and stuff. But after this, I might change that. God dang. I'm dipping some hot sauce for fun. Or pour a little bit on. Just a little bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was what I wanted in my life. Finger looking good. Try this ginger shot for all of you. Cheers. Woo! All right. Hot dang it. Woo! That is 
Okay. Listen, so you're talking to a guy that eats spicy stuff, that loves sour stuff, but wow, that is lemon juice, that is ginger, that is cayenne, <coughs> excuse me, comments to the chef or the sandwich people, whatever you say, <coughs> excuse me, hot dang it, that was awesome, <coughs> excuse me, and just ginger, lemon, and cayenne, but hello, fresh, healthy cafe, hot dang it, I'll take it, delicious. All right, and that, spicy. Edwards here with the sandwich. Like we said, the crazy spicy whole pepper on top, all the peppers on it. There's like three or four whole peppers chopped. Um, they are habaneros. Then it's covered in the Carolina Reaper sauce, plus the peppers, uh, spicy seasoning, onions, all that stuff. To clarify, 10 minutes. Yep. $15 if failed, free if eaten, and I think that's it, right? Yep. And no drinks. No drinks. Okay. There's no way you're gonna eat it. Too spicy. My throat is literally burning from smelling it. Well, I guess we'll find out. So at that, we'll get started here just momentarily. All right, so I am ready to get rocking. Restaurant's ready? Yep. Okay, so 10 minutes. So how about we maybe get started? We'll say the count of five, yeah. maybe four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right, everybody. So let's do this. They were nice enough to give me a little bit of ranch. And if I wanted more sauce, they gave me more of these crazy high, blah, blah, crazy spicy hot sauce. So, I mean, at least they gave me more sauce if I wanted the option. I'm gonna cut this. I think the key is gonna be try to not get this all over my freaking face. Um, and yeah, I got this extra plate for maneuvering. Oh my gosh, this is, uh, that is some juicy looking chicken. All right, let's get going here. So, woo, all right. Wish me luck, everybody. Oh, okay. Oh, hot damn. Woo! Mm. Oh, that is so, oh. Ah! Oh, and it was eating fresh peppers. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh, woo! Oh man. Mm. Ah! Mm. Oh man. Ooh. Oh god. Oh man, this uh oh. anybody's eating oh. Ah. oh Ugh. Everybody's eating fresh peppers, those they just burn like nothing else. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Nah. Oh my god. Oh. I don't like eat that. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Uh. Oh. Dear god, maybe the ranch will help a little bit or something. Ugh. Uh. Oh man. Uh. A little bit of lubricity just to get it done quick. Ah. Mm. Ah. Uh. 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 
Oh my gosh. Oh no, ma'am. That is uh. Oh. That is so hot. That is so freaking hot. I just got the funniest look from a woman walking by. Oh, uh, she's probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. Oh. Uh, oh my gosh. Man, that is freaking hot. The the Carolina Reaper sauce on there. Those fresh freaking peppers. Uh, man. Oh. Hey everyone, welcome to Zooter. Today we're here at Fresh Healthy Cafe doing this crazy spicy chicken sandwich challenge. Fun fact though, did you know that the feeling of spicy is not actually burning you? It's just totally a feeling? Man, I actually don't know if I can do that. Oh man. It's so spicy. I don't have that much left. That's right, what makes peppers spicy is capsium, and believe it or not, it just mimics the feel of heat in your mouth, and it's totally harmless. At least harmless when it's not in your eyes, ears, mouth, and well, if you experience some intestinal distress, that's also some not great. But here we are doing one of the spiciest challenges I've done in a very, very long time. This thing was absolutely killer. All the fresh peppers on there, all the sauces. This was absolutely insane. Although that's pretty self-explanatory. But what I do want to mention is how cool of a restaurant this was and how healthy it was. Uh. I had never been to a restaurant which was more transparent and kind of like low calorie diet focused than this place here and everything also tasted great. So you had the healthiness, the low calorie options with full flavors and it was very enjoyable. But that I'll let you get back to watching me absolutely die and let's see what happens. I can't even swallow. Uh, uh. That's not even the end of it. Ah. And this whole freaking pot I have to eat. Oh, God, I'm spitting all over. I literally just got spit all over my lunch. Just over 5, 5.15. In. Oh, now my eyes running. But I'm definitely, oh man. I don't know if I can do, oh man, I think I spit in my eye. Oh no, my eye's burning. Oh no, oh bad, whatever I just did. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh no, my eye's burning, frig. Oh man, uh, that's horrible. Uh, that is not fun. Uh. Uh. I can barely freaking see anything. Oh man. Oh, that hurts so bad. Uh -huh. uh, uh, not recommended. Oh man, I just want to wipe my eye, but uh, I don't think I can reach my elbow or my shoulder. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Oh no, guys. All right, I'm just going to finish this off. My eye is so burning right now. Freaking whole pot, everybody. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. Cheers, I guess. Oh.
Anyway, I think we're done. Is this done? Uh, uh. Yes. Yes? Oh, dear God. You did it eight minutes. Bro, uh, eight minutes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I got it in my eye. My nose is running. Oh, that is horrible. Oh, man. I'm going to need a... Uh... Oh, thank you. Bro. Oh. Oh, guys, welcome a lot. That was horrible. Oh, man, that was hot. Ooh, they know how to make a freaking hot smoothie. Oh, man. Oh, not smoothie. What am I saying? A hot sandwich. Oh, oh my gosh. Actually, I might I might need to get one of those here in a second. Smoothies. There's lots of cool smoothies here. But anyway, guys. Oh, man, that is so hot. So that I guess you do get that sandwich for free. Oh, man, that was, uh, whew. That was one of the spiciest things I've ate in a long time. They did say that could be Canada's spicy sandwich. And I gotta say, that was damn hot. Oh, spicy one I've ever eaten in Canada. Definitely the spicy one I've ever eaten in Canada. Oh man, I need a drink or something. I'm gonna figure that out, but. Oh, oh. I gotta get a drink, guys. Maybe I'll talk to you in a moment. I'll talk to you in a second. Six and a half hours later. Uh, alright, buddy, about 3,000 years later. Uh, my eyes still burning, but they brought me a, a, a cold towel cloth thing, so thanks to the staff. They made me a smoothie. This is the protein one, which I will say is very delicious. And, um, super healthy. Mm. Basically bananas, strawberries, yo Greek yogurt. Mm. Protein. Amazing. It tastes very good. It definitely helped cool me in the last 15 minutes or so. I definitely need my eye to stop burning, so I'm going to go try to wash that out again. But like I said, thanks to everybody here. We totally, totally, totally recommend checking out Fresh. Guys, it's also by the beautiful waterfront just over there. The Kingston waterfront, I never knew it was so beautiful. We're just down the street. This is a super cool area. We got like historic buildings right here. The big old banks, it's like some kind of community center or hall or something across the road. But absolutely amazing place, guys. I really enjoyed all the items that I tried today. I would be here absolutely daily. Um, if I had to pick a favorite, whew. Well, I know they make that uh, spicy chicken sandwich in a civilian version, not with the ghost peppers and all those peppers. So definitely try that out. That'd be delicious. Mm. This smoothie is absolutely fantastic and amazing. I'm not usually a big smoothie person, but this is the best smoothie I've had in a very long time. I would totally recommend. And it helped absolute wonders with that heat. Um, you know, I love that Mission Burrito, and I love that... Actually, you know what my favorite was? That um, the avocado... Um, the turkey bacon avocado. That panini was awesome. And this Mediterranean salad was good too. I actually might get a panini to go. Those were great, but. Until next time, buddy. I gotta say, huge thanks to Fresh. Fresh Healthy Cafe, guys. Great spot, really cool. I'll try to show you around the area a little bit. We totally recommend stopping by. Casual meal. Quick lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever you want. They serve breakfast all day. So everyone, until next time, for us to happy, with hungry, happy eating. That's about it, so. Woo, that's a ride. Thank God for smoothies, guys. That really did help. So until next time, everybody. Appreciate y'all. Ontario, great to visit you. With that, have a day. All right, everyone, literally right down the street from Fresh. Literally, it's just right up there. We have this lovely, I don't know what this is, some big building, which is pretty cool. Looks very, very gorgeous. I'll find you a name if I can. Awesome. And then over here, look at this. Look at these lovely waterfall or like water fountains and this waterfront. Man, this is my first time actually being like really in Kingston or at least in downtown. I've only been here once before for a very briefly for a challenge. And um, I gotta say, this is beautiful. I'm thoroughly impressed. And I'm surprised I can't see a name on this big building. But uh, yeah, there's not. Uh, Kingston City Hall, Kingston City Hall. That's what Kingston City Hall looks like. Pretty damn cool. 
I'm sure a lot of you guys from the area are probably like, oh, I've been there. Well, I'm sure you have. It's pretty cool. But man, this waterfront, this fountain, I'm going to get you a little closer look, but it's very, very pretty. There's a visitor information center. That's interesting. Oh, this is called Confederation Park. If you're not familiar, Confederation, Confederation Trail, Ottawa, all that stuff has to do very much with the creation of Canada. And this is called the Confederation Park Fountain. It's pretty cool. It's like a bit of an arch, multiple, obviously, water spouts. Uh, we have a train over here which says Canadian Pacific. Maybe this is uh, the start of the Canadian Pacific Railway Company or whatever, which is a current large and public traded company. Um, we have some hotels nearby. Uh, surprisingly, no coins in the fountain. We're not going to get rich today, unfortunately. But look at this, look at this green space. Got some flags and this lovely green space going on here. Got some more uh, market batteries. Oh, wow, yeah, actually, there is a battery over there. Look at that right there. Plus this water, the boats. Let's get a little closer. So this is kind of where the, I guess, battery stood um, from 1848 to 1875. Uh, basically on the Rideau Canal from 1875 Public Park, blah, blah, blah. Railway station was built, probably with the trains for. And then this is also the site of the naval dockyard during the War of 1812. So that's super, super interesting, huh? And then, yeah, I guess this is, you know, part of the monument, part of what's here now, and voila, the waterfront. And then here's a closer look at the actual waterfront itself, which is very beautiful, if I do add. They have some uh, different ferry boats for you some tours. There's another one of these fortifications right out there. And uh, yeah, this is very, very pleasant and stunning. What a lovely, uh, you know, a lovely evening. There's some goslings, AKA baby geese, and their parents. Canada geese, which funny enough, where a lot of people might be familiar with these guys, is places like Virginia, Florida, many, California, these guys, uh, they get a taste of that warm weather and they move down there. Let's just say they also realize that Canada is the wrong part of the place to be born in. I'm just kidding. But I like the heat. I do like the heat. I find Canada very cold sometimes. So I, like some of the geese, uh, when I get down there, I don't want to leave all the time because I love the heat. And a lot of Canadian geese in certain places actually um, have moved you know, permanently to Florida, California, Virginia year round, because it doesn't get cold enough to have to migrate. So you can save some migration if they just do not leave. So sure enough. Yeah.